Good morning, everyone. How are you today? I hope you're all safe. This is Teacher Rod once again, and today I will be teaching you the practice habits to maintain a healthy body. Our objectives for this lesson are identify the practice habits to maintain a healthy body. Second, explain the importance of practicing proper health habits. Last time, we have discussed about the causes and treatment of brain disorder. Can you still remember them? Great! Before we start, let us refresh your memory about our previous lesson. Let's answer this. Number one, it is a disorder which causes seizures. Is it Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, or epilepsy? If your answer is epilepsy, then you are correct. Number two, this brain disorder happens when the brain proteins fail to function normally. Is it Alzheimer's disease, brain aneurysm, or Parkinson's disease? Absolutely, it's Alzheimer's disease. Number three, this kind of brain disorder affects movement. Is it epilepsy, Parkinson's disease, or brain aneurysm? Well, if you've answered Parkinson's disease, you got it right. Four, when someone is having seizure, it is safe to put something in his mouth, especially medicine. Is it yes? No, or maybe? Well, the answer is no. And last number five, the following are causes of brain aneurysm, which is not. Excessive sleep, drug abuse, or hypertension. Well, the answer is definitely excessive sleep because it, it has nothing to do with brain aneurysm. Wow, that was an awesome review. Good job for preparing well today, kids. And I know you're all excited for a new lesson this morning. So, I prepared a simple game for you. I call it Try It or Trash It. I will show you some pictures of the things I do and I want you to help me decide whether I should try drawing them or I should stop doing them and put them in the trash instead. Are you ready? Perfect. Let's begin. So here are the pictures of the things I usually do. Please take a look at these pictures. So in the first picture, should I eat fruits and vegetables? Of course, I should try and continue doing that. And the second picture shows, I always work late at night. Or should I continue working late at night? Of course not. So I'm going to trash it. Third picture shows, I exercise. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. And a fourth picture, should I drink alcohol? Of course not. Although alcohol is needed in our body, but drinking too much alcohol is not healthy. Next picture, should I try biking? Of course, even though I don't know how to bike yet, but I'm really interested to try. And the last picture shows me eating unhealthy food. What do you think? Great, of course not. I don't want to eat unhealthy food because I want to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Well, thank you so much kids for teaching me and helping me decide whether or not to try these activities. 
And I hope you also are aware of the things and activities that you should and you should not do. Okay? Great. Today, we will be discussing the proper ways in caring for our body. So the first one is eat a balanced diet. A well-balanced diet provides important vitamins, minerals, and nutrients to keep the body and mind strong and healthy. So eating well can also help uh, ward off numerous diseases and health complications. And it also helps us maintain a healthy body weight, provide energy, and of course, allow better sleep and improve brain function. Second is exercise daily. As you all know that physical activity or exercise can improve your health, and reduce the risk of developing several diseases like type 2 diabetes, cancer, and cardiovascular diseases. Physical activity and exercises can also have immediate and long health benefits. Most importantly, regular activity can improve your quality of life. So instead of uh, playing your mobile phones and computer all day long, why not go outside and play with your neighbors, right? So that's also a form of exercise. And the third one, avoid harmful substances like alcohol, cigarettes, and drugs. Drinking alcohol is not totally bad for our health as our body also need them. But what is bad is consuming large amount of alcohol, okay? So, but if you only drink moderately or very occasionally, then that could be good as well, right? But using illegal drugs, cigarettes, or uh, cigarette smoking is definitely bad for our health. So I should, I would not encourage you to try them, okay? So you have to avoid cigarette smoking and taking some drugs. And number four, get enough sleep. Well, sleep uh, plays a vital role in good health and well-being throughout your life. So getting enough quality sleep at the right time can help protect your mental health, physical health, quality of your life, and of course, your safety. So during sleep, your body is working to support healthy brain functions and maintain your physical health, all right? So even though you are sleeping, your brain continues to work, okay? And um, it is really important that we also have to take some uh, vitamins and we have to eat food that are good for our brain. All right. And number five, have a positive outlook in life. So this is very important, okay? So you have to avoid negative vibes all the time because it does not help you at all, especially if you are suffering from any diseases. So some medical doctors um, or medical experts always emphasize that there's no better cure for the diseases or illness that you are having but yourself okay as long as you have that positive outlook as long as you believe that you know that you can recover from that illness then you will okay so a positive attitude helps you cope more easily with the daily affairs of life it brings optimism in your life and make it easier to avoid worries and negative thinking if you adopt it as a way of life it would bring constructive changes into your life and makes them happier, brighter, and successful. So this is absolutely correct because if you have a positive outlook in life, you always believe that everything is possible. Okay? Great. So let's move on to our number six. You have to drink 
8 to 10 glasses of water daily. So drinking water helps maintain the balance of body fluids. So as you all know, our body eliminates fluid through sweat, urine, and saliva. So it is good to replenish them from time to time, and it is through drinking water. So our body is composed of about 60% water, okay? So the functions of these bodily fluids include digestion, absorption, circulation, creation of saliva, transportation of nutrients, and maintenance of body temperature. And let's say, for example, you have a, um, you have a water pump at home. So do you think the water pump can function without the gasoline or the jeepney can run without a gasoline? Of course not. Same thing with our body. Our body cannot move or our body cannot function its activities without water. So water is the fuel of our body. Okay, and let's move on to our number eight. And this is the very last healthy habit that you have to practice all the time. So you have to keep your surroundings clean. So environment is a place where humans as well as plants and animals live. Keeping it clean and neat is our responsibility. It is necessary to keep our environment clean because we get fresh air, reduce pollution, etc. Water pollution and litter are considered to be two of the main cause of the environment being dirty. And of course, if we are living in a dirty surroundings or dirty environment, what will happen to us? Of course, we can have certain um, diseases because insects might get bacteria from from the trash that we throw away outside and then once we are bitten by a mosquito for example then we can have dengue fever and dengue fever doesn't have any vaccine yet all right so we really need to be very careful so we have to clean our surroundings maintain the cleanliness of our house great so we're almost done with our discussion so this is the thing that you need to remember all the time so good nutrition is an important part of leading a healthy lifestyle combined with physical activity your diet can help you to reach and maintain a healthy weight, reduce your risk of chronic diseases like heart disease and cancer, and promote your overall health. So it is very important that we always have to maintain a um, healthy habit, to so clean our body, eat food and balanced diet, and of course, exercise and keeping our body hydrated. So those are the things that you always have to remember if you want to have a healthy body. All right, great. So we're almost done with our lesson and it was a very interesting discussion. So let's have a little rundown of what we have discussed today. So we have studied about the proper ways of carrying our body such as eat a balanced diet, exercise daily, avoid harmful substances like alcohol, cigarettes, and drugs, get enough rest, have a positive outlook in life, drink eight to 10 glasses of water daily, and of course, you have to keep your surroundings clean. Great, so, I hope you're able to learn all of these things and somehow you're able to apply this in your day-to-day -day life or in your day-to-day -day activity, all right? So, at this moment, let me check your understanding of our lesson. Can you grab a paper and a pen? I want you to answer these five questions and I am giving you one minute to finish them. And your timer starts now.
30 seconds remaining. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time is up. Okay, time is up. Let's check your work. Okay, here are the correct answers. So please check your work. So did you get a perfect score? Great! You all did an amazing job today. And for your other activity, I want you to please answer the checklist through this link. HTTPS colon double slash tinyurl.com slash healthy practices checklist. Thank you again, everyone, for studying with me today. This has been Teacher Rod, and I wish you all the best. And always remember that you are all amazing. See you again in our next session. Bye!